Hey there everyone, I'm PolkyFan08, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. Last time, oh boy, last time. <laughs> we made a pact with the Summon Spirit of Darkness, Shadow. And then we flew around the world a little bit, and we chatted with the party members. A lot. <laughs> and today, we are gonna do some little cleanup before we go and we make a pact with the final Summon Spirit which is Luna in the Tower of Mana. So, uh, the reason why I'm doing this now is because after you actually make a pact with Luna, a lot of things will actually get locked out for you, like the Sword Dancer fight in the Gacha Forest and all that, and all that stuff. But uh, I'm gonna go a little bit more over that afterwards. First though, I want to go back into Altamira. Now, something that I learned while I was actually editing the last video is that to get to the scene at the entrance of Altamira, you need to have Lloyd as your on-screen character. So, let's go! By the way, all the things I'm going to show here now is PS2 exclusive. That's why I didn't know, yeah. <laughs> I'm not the uh, the best when it comes to the PS2 stuff. I usually forget a lot, a lot of it for some reason. Congratulations! You, sir, are our one millionth guest this year at Resort Island Altamira. What? What? Me? What? what who? <laughs> Smooth Lloyd. To commemorate, we'd like to offer you a one night stay at Hotel La Sereno. The look sweet. Absolutely free! Well, that's quite nice. Whoa, really? Additionally, this free pass grants you unlimited access to all of our park attractions. I trust you will find a view from the Deluxe Suite uh, the very best in all of Tethiala, sir. Enjoy! Uh, congratulations, Lloyd! Uh, uh, I'm not sure what just happened, but woohoo! <laughs> I eagerly anticipate your review of the accommodations. Uh, yeah, you bet! And we get the free pass! Another item that, for some reason, a lot of people miss out on, me included. My first playthrough of the Blood Chronicles version, I had no idea this item even existed. Yeah, this ticket grants the bear entry to all of Altamira's myriad attractions. So, how about we just start by going straight to the amusement park, huh? I mean, okay, that place is not exclusive to the PS2 version, but uh, everything we'll see after this is. So, yeah, let's go and have some fun. I mean, we have been trying to rescue and save the world and split it in two and all that for so long now that uh, I will say the party deserves to have a little bit of fun too. Whoa, take a look at those crazy vehicles. They're all kinds. Those are rides, Lloyd, for children. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out, Regal. This is an amusement park. Uh, <laughs> oh, for kids, huh? Well, I wasn't really interested anyway. No point in getting invested in a Ferris wheel, though. Those are boring. Sheesh. You know, it's not just for kid kids, of course. No, hardly. I mean, it's a classic date spot, or a place to get together with friends and have fun. Really? Oh, then I want to go on that one! What is it? The teacups. Seriously? Oh well, fine. <laughs> He's not used to technology like this, so I guess it's fine. The teacups. Why tea, though? Did that always bug me? Why not coffee cups? because they would be very, very hard to get into, usually. <laughs> In this case, it's because I happen to favor tea. Uh, yeah, actually, I kind of I like coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Coffee's pretty great. Precisely. I knew I thought you'd appreciate the finer things in life. Says the woman who burned every cup of coffee she ever made. <laughs> Woo! Time to hop on board this bad boy. Why not choose someone to join you? Such things are always better shared. Hmm, well as Shia just said, this is a very classic date spot, so uh, the best thing would of course be to pick either Colette, Rain, or Sheena. Or, well, for Sia too, I guess, but uh, let's be a little bit awkward. Let's go with Zellos. 
I am curious what he's going to say. Then I pick Celebs. Uh, oh, <laughs> honey, this is the part where you're supposed to invite a girl. Eh, close enough. <laughs> I mean, seriously, hands up everyone that thought that Celos was a girl the first time you saw him on the cover. My hand is raised. Come on, liars. Up with your hands. <laughs> Wait, this is so intense. And I, I do like the little uh, lemon in the uh, teacup there, since a lot of people prefer lemon in, the, in their tea. Personally, I don't. But, oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my lunch. I thought you were made of sterner stuff than that, honey. Why are you calling him honey? Well, as long as we're here, let's check out the Jetstream coaster, too. Uh, I'm stuck with you again. Oh, you're killing me. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I like that there's a little... Uh, there, there is a tiny child at the front, and he's just going, Wee! And Lord and Cell's just sitting there. Wee! <laughs> Whoa, this thing packs more punch than a ray yard. Please tell him I get to ride the next one with the girl. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, it looks like we were having a blast, Lloyd. <laughs> of course, though, there are ladies and girls you can talk to for the gigolo title. But uh, before we leave, let's take a little ride in the Ferris wheel, too, even though it's really, really boring. I, d I don't... I know a lot of people like the Ferris wheel a lot, but personally, I never understood the... What's the point? I mean, we we're going around and then the ride is done. Yay! <laughs> I never understood what so many people like with the Ferris wheels, but... Oh, well, I guess just it's just my uh, special taste. I am a fan of the teacups, though, or the... Uh, the ones that go a little bit faster and up and down. Uh, those are quite fun. <laughs> anyway, though, let's just head back to the uh, hotel, since we still have that deluxe suite to check out. Things are always so much better when they are free. Don't you think? Yeah. Every time someone asks me, do you want to stay here for food or anything, I just say, heck yeah, free food. Always the best kind. <laughs> let's see. Oh, hi, Celos. Uh, this is actually another part where you could find out who your highest affection is, or highest affection character is. And for some reason, it kind of seems like Celos is standing here. I don't know if that's because he's on the top, or if it's because I chose him at the amusement park. I'll probably find out soon, though. We are currently running a special promotion for all of our guests. For your stay here, you'll receive a complimentary ticket to the Royal Altamir Theatre. Theater, huh? It won't kill you, honey. A little culture might do your Silverman bar Silver Barbarians good. <laughs> Again? <laughs> okay, you really need to stop with the Barbarian thing. There are performances nightly, sir, so enjoy your show. Thank you. That's gotta be fun, too. Very fun, actually. <laughs> so let's talk to this girl. Let's see, will you be staying in the Lux Lux Suite? Yes, I will. Of course. Excellent. Your companions will be... Oh, really? So it's just for Lloyd? Yeah, actually, wow. Well, that's kinda lame. I mean, can't complain though, I mean, we got it for free and all, but still, kinda lame. Enjoy your stay! Looks pretty nice though. Especially since we got it for free. <laughs> yeah, it's open. So, the character that will come through the door now is the uh, highest affectioned character. And I will still guess that it's Colette, even though I've been going for Cellos pretty much since I got him, but... Let's see. Yeah, figured. <laughs> it's actually quite hard to kick Colette out of the first spot. I have done it with pretty much all the characters, but it's pretty hard. You need to be very specific. Wow, so this is the Lux Suite. Pretty crazy, huh? It's amazing! Still not sure what's supposed to be sweet about it, though. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> they keep saying that. Oh, right, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Lloyd, that's not... Uh, it's a different... Well, I guess it is a pretty sweet deal, though. I mean, getting to stay for free? Too bad it's wasted on me, though. It's not a waste. You've been working so hard, Lloyd. You deserve a nice treat. What about you? 
You lost your ability to sleep, to eat. You lost your soul, Colette. You had it harder than any of us. But I had everyone helping me. And I didn't. <laughs> Point. <laughs> what? I'm just speaking about it. We really have gotten this far because of everyone helping each other out. Yeah, we're a good team. The best. So many wonderful people. I love them all. And Silveron. And Tefiala too. Yeah. But most of all, I love... Hmm? N nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'll just... Uh, I'll, head back. I'll head back to my room now. What? You're all ready? Come on, stick around. Let's talk a while for a while. Alright. Oh, isn't that nice? She almost told him that she loved him. Oh. <laughs> We actually never hear that in the game, though, but I think that's the closest we'll ever get. You can actually hear it in the sequel, though, but we will get to that when we get to that. But uh, there are still more to do in Altamira. Yes, there is actually a lot of things to do in Altamira when you... after you see the Regal and Alicia scene. So, this time, will you be going out tonight? Yes, I will. We are actually not able to do this. Uh, uh, before we see the Regal Alicia thing. May have something to do with, you know, but we are uh, friends of Regal, Regal and all, but let's talk to this guy. The Elemental Railway do, do not run to the Los Reno Company at night. Even if you are friends of Regal's, uh, rules are rules. Thank you for your understanding. So, we can't go to the uh, Los Reno Company, and we also know that the amusement park is closed at night. So, where can we go to? The casino and theater area, of course. So, let's go! You can go to this place in the, PS in the GameCube version too, but there really isn't much to see. Personally, I kind of prefer it like that way, but oh well. First of all though, we have a dog here for Colette to name. Yeah, it's been a while since we've actually seen any of those. Let's see, this is Kenny. Or a guy's gonna die. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's just horrible. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. <sighs> what am I going to do? What's wrong? Oh, it's a sad, sad tale. I lost my entire fortune at the casino over there. Isn't that your own fault? D don't say that. They even took my special condom as collateral. And my luck has plummeted since then. I... What was I doing just now? Wait, what? Okay, that was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Now, this is actually different in the GameCube version. Because he will actually still have his Kandama. But he will still not have any money. And he, he a will ask you if you want to buy his special Kandama for a thousand gold. And you really want to do that because it turns out that is actually Genesis' Devil Arm, the disaster. Though in the PS2 and PS3 version, we can go in here. This place did not exist in the GameCube version. And that's why I say that I prefer it like that, because this place freaking sucks if you're going for trophies. <laughs> Believe me. So, uh, let's talk to this lady. Of course, like in pretty much all casinos in any RPG ever, and kind of real life too, I guess. You can buy chips and you can use them to play games, like yeah, the slot machine and... Well, to be honest, it's only the slot machine that is actually worth a damn, so <laughs> I don't really know what everything else is. And of course, you can win more chips and you can uh, get fabulous prizes with the chips that you win. So, of course, we have some pretty standard stuff like a miracle gel, a rune bottle... <laughs> yeah, that's a steal. Get it? Get it? <laughs> a rare pellet, strike ring, tactical ring, a spirit ring. Okay, not too bad, I guess. But if you go in to see other prices, this is where the good stuff is. First of all, you have the question mark item, which is a title slash costume for Rain, which I can't remember the name of, but it will pop up on the screen here. And that will also give her a costume, which will pretty much make her into a Playboy Bunny, or at least in the PS2 version. In the PS3 version, I believe they took away the bunny ears, but... Eh, it doesn't really matter. You still need to get it. 
The Forget-Me-Not is a special item exclusive to the PS2 version. With it, you can see all the animated cutscenes that you've seen so far throughout the game, in a special village that we haven't gone through yet. But let's just say, uh, Furry Village. Intent. <laughs> and then we have the P Devil's Plaything, which is the Kendama, the disaster. As you see though, that thing is not that expensive, but I don't really want to gamble right now, so I will come back. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I will come back and get it later on. I just wanted to show it to you. And also, a little thing that I always found pretty funny is that we have a priest here in the casino. I think the joke says itself. <laughs> what? What? What's with that suspicious look? <laughs> uh, what? What? What did he say? I'm here on official duty, spreading the tears. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that guy's funny, <laughs> because he doesn't know any better. <laughs> but there is still one more thing we can do here, and that is talk to this dude. This is a theater, by the way. Oh, this is terrible. We can't go on like this. Like what, precisely? Oh, President Bryant. I'm mortified to admit that this afternoon's catering has struck the entire trope with food poisoning. We have no cast, sir. A group of overeager cats are filling it in for a moment. Hmm, that is quite a predicament. You know, it seems like something always goes wrong in this town. Ow! <laughs> I can I can offer no excuse. I shall have a firm word with George. If only the understudies hadn't eaten too. We wouldn't be in such a dire straits. It, I'll kill for a leading pair, just an attractive man and woman accustomed to working as a team. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? No, 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 no. I'm hardly attractive. Besides, I have a position as a teacher to consider. I have the core to preserve. Really, Salos? Oh, your modesty only makes you shine brighter, Miss Sage. So it's decided. Galactic Hearthrob Lord Salos and Rain, Queen of All Existence, will take the stage. Tonight, we save the institution of theater and make history together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was... Creepy deep. Yeah. Oh, I am forever in your debt. Now, onto the script. It's an epic spanning seven volumes. Can we have it memorized in 30 minutes? Wow. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm afraid we just have to call this whole thing off. What? Just do a shorter... Just do a shorter play. But we have no other works prepared. Hmm, how about that book we got? Oh god, no. <laughs> Remember this one? The one the one from Paninja and Misuho. That was a fun one. Yeah, uh, I'll be honest. When I did that side quest, you know, the, uh, the pun book in Misuho, I completely forgot that it actually got something to do with this. So the pun book actually got some importance. That and the guy we got it from was called Paninja. That is horrible! On so many levels! <laughs> ah, a skit procured from the lands of hallowed mystery itself. I am overcome. Yes, we must use it. We absolutely must. Oh, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> it's a pun book. Come now, let's begin. Places, everyone. Oh, this can only go one way. Are you sure that books... Are you sure that book counts as theater? It does not? No. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance will be a very special presentation. We bring you, for one night only, a masterpiece from Misuho's literary tradition. Paninja's Comedy Hour! Oh god. <laughs> Evening ladies, I'm Zellos. And I'm Rain. So, how about this weather, Rain? Warm breeze, blue skies, sun beating down your back. You said it. Better watch out, I don't burr. It's nights out! It sure is, Rain. And speaking of hot evenings, I hear the papal garden of Natokyo know how to keep warm. Rumor has it, the ladies of the aristocracy are all over them. That's surprising. They all seem so aloof and scary. Sure, but you wouldn't find anyone who knows more about Nel Tokyo's night's life. I see what you did there. <laughs> Come on.
god. Oh, this is so painful. <laughs> Damn it, but ninja. Why? Why? Oh god, that's, that's seriously hurt my brain. I can't play Final Fantasy after this. I, I just... Oh god. <laughs> I... Oh goodness, how do I put this? Thank you, I suppose, for helping my company in its hour of need. <laughs> Iso certainly has a distinct cultural cultural flavor. Yeah, you can say that again. Please don't mistake that for Miso's culture. <laughs> Still, I would like to reward you both. Our company is a sponsor of the Tethial Academy Awards as a token of thanks. I'd like to offer you the Golden Rat. Wow, what an honor. A rat. <laughs> for leading actor and leading actress. Whoa, nice going, you guys. You you were both amazing. <laughs> well, there was one thing that was amazing. That kick. Wow. <laughs> and Rain gets the title Best Leading Actress. And Cello's Best Leading Actor. Uh, oh, spare me. Well, that won't be necessary. Uh, I see. Apologies, then. <laughs> And the fun thing with that is, if you go into their status, yeah, they didn't really get the titles. They didn't want them at all. <laughs> I don't know why, I just always found that very funny, even though I haven't really seen it that many times, but yeah, it's funny. <laughs> now though, there is nothing more to do in, uh, in the casino area, but uh, if you're going for uh, the Platinum, in this game, you will be back here and you will hate the place. There is a trophy for getting 1 million chips, and the only way to get that is to be incredibly lucky. And when it comes to gambling, lucky is not really what I will consider myself, no. <laughs> anyway though, let's go up to the 4th floor, which is where we have our room. And you can see a little pumpkin in the background there, we are gonna ignore him for now and go in here. Holy crap! Um... And I thought I liked cats. <laughs> Look adorable though, I mean, come on, I went to pet them all. Ah, uh, it's only- oh, there's a guy here, okay, never mind. Oh, young one, do you know the true meaning of limits? Oh, uh, yes I do. <laughs> Tell me then. <laughs> I was just about to say, seriously, is it just cats here? But no, there's that old guy. Well, at least, when he dies, the cat will eat him. Woohoo. <laughs> and of course, the pumpkin is none other than our good old friend, the Wonder Jeff. Of course, who else could it be? Let's see, this time we will learn to make spaghetti. That's nice, I actually ate that yesterday. Let's see, some type of doodles, onion and tomato. Thank you. Farewell, farewell indeed. And now, let's go up to our room and finally end this party in Altamira. <laughs> you would think that would be there would be so much to actually do in this town since it's... Well, it's a pretty serious town, even though, yeah, it is a... Uh, what can I say? Paradise, resort, blah blah blah. But still, there, there is surprisingly a lot of things you can do here. I like it though. Altamira is a very fun town. Ah, sorry about that. I had three massive sneeze there, and believe me, if I actually didn't edit those out... Well, you would, your air, airs would hurt, yeah. <laughs> anyway, though, that is all that we can do, or that I want to do in Tatiola for now. So, let's just head back to Silverant. Now, as I said before I went to Altamira, though, when you go to the Tower of Mana, the moment you put your foot at the top floor, a lot of things will actually get cut out for you. Because that will actually uh, lead into the beginning of the second disc of the GameCube version. And on the second disc, there are new side quests, which means they also had to kick out old ones. And of course, one of them, and the most important one in my opinion, is the Sword Dancer. If you don't fight the Sword Dancer in the Gacha Forest before you go to Tower of Mana, you don't have a, you won't have a chance to fight him again. They are very nice with the deadline for the second sword dancer, so don't forget it. 
Another thing is that if you haven't gotten all the treasure chests in the old seals here in Silverant, like for, for example defeated the, defeated the fake here in the Triet Ruins, or uh, gotten all the treasure chests in the Balakrop Mausoleum or the Toda Geyser, do it before you go to the tower. And also there is a dog at the Toda Geyser that you need to name, because he is missable. But anyway, let's land here, and this is the Linkai Tree. Remember when we talked to Nova and his family way back in, in the... Well, I won't say the beginning of the game, but a long, long time ago, yeah. They talked about something called the Linkai Tree and the Aska and all that, so uh, let's check this thing out. It seems this is the Linkai Tree that Professor Nova's family talked about, but it's dead. Lloyd, let's go back to Professor Nova and confirm the information we have. Yeah, I already forgotten a lot of it. So, yeah, <laughs> I wonder where he is now. All we can do is to gather information in the cities and search for him. Okay, let's go. Yeah, of course we could do that. But I know where he is. Yeah, at this part of the game, he will always be in one specific area. Oh, and also, one more thing. If you're going for a gigolo title or the dog lover, make sure you name all the dogs and you also uh, talk to all the ladies in Palma Costa. Because after the Tower of Mana, Palma Costa will be a little bit hard to get into. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything more. You will see in the next video. But uh, yeah, uh, in this part, at this part of the game, Professor Nova or Nova's caravan will always be outside of uh, Hakanisa Peak. Thank God. I'm very glad it, that it's not random. <laughs> that would really suck. Hmm, what is it? We found a Linkai tree, but we'd like to reconfirm the information we heard before. I see. Then, let's take a look at the memo. To find the Linkai tree, we already found it though. Yeah, it's a place that we can't be reached by foot. No problem, we got the ray arts. If the Linkai tree is dead, well, this is specific, you must strengthen the healing arts. Call forth the tree's will to live and nourish the ground. So, sounds like something we can do, actually. Just as we remembered it. Then, to sum it all up, looking at our current status, we need to revive the Linkai tree and carry the sound on the wind. As for the wind to carry the sound... Hey, leave it to me. We have Sylph, the summon spirit of wind on our side. But how are we going to revive the Linkai tree? We have the Linkai nut that we received from that child. If we accelerate its growth with the X-Sphere, and strengthen my healing arts with the unicorn horn. Yeah, remember that thing? We haven't used that in a long time. <laughs> then maybe we could manage something. We may need the power of the Summon Spirit of Earth, though, since we need to nourish the ground. Hey, the Summon Spirit of the Earth is my job. Just leave it to me. But what about the X-Sphere? No problem. We already got one. Yeah, remember when I went back to Dirk's house and I got the X-Sphere shard? That's it. So if you don't have it, just... Go straight to Dirk, and you will get it. Then the only thing left is the melody. I wonder if it will make a pretty sound. That's the one thing we don't know. No problem. I can't do anything with this little nut, but as long as the revived Linkai tree has big nuts on it, we can make a flute. We just need one like the one Mythos had, right? Lloyd, you can make that? I'll show you the skills my dad taught me, and we have Prisea too. Yes, I will help. Okay then, let's go find the Linkai tree. We already found it though. <laughs> Fascinating. Whoa! I see now. That's impressive the way you found the rules of how it works. Would you mind talk would you mind taking us with you when you call for the Aska? But you won't all fit on the Rayards. Ah, don't worry about it. If that glowing bird is Aska, and I make a pact with him, then I can call him forth any time. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny because, yeah, you can, but uh, we'll, we'll see that in the next video. I'll show Aska to you myself. I see. <laughs> that would be great. Please show him to me sometime. I made note of the information you assembled. If you want to hear it, come back and talk to me any, at any time. Okay, let's go. Yeah, never thought we actually had to talk to these people again, did ya? <laughs> but we actually do. Even though, well, to be honest, the... Uh, when they first started talking about it, you wouldn't really think that they were actually talking about Aska. It's just, oh yeah, the Linkai tree. Whoa! Wait, what do we need the Linkai tree for again? 
but yeah, we needed to summon Asuka, that's it. <laughs> So, the final thing we're gonna do in this video is to revive the Linkai tree. Slash, plant a new one, which is pretty much what we are doing. Professor, Shina, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, anytime. Okay, Professor, Shina, go for it. Right, stand back. Here I go. I call upon the servant of Mother Earth. No. Oh, what is it? No. Please make this ground healthy again. Mm, okay. Can never have enough. No. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> well, that didn't change a thing. Okay, Rain. Right. Unicorn Horn, lend me your power. Resurrection! Oh, wow. Wow, the Link got you recovered. Whoa, Rain, you're fantastic. Lloyd, Presea, the rest is up to you. I understand. Lloyd? Hmm. Yeah, how about these? It'll take one night, so just wait for a little bit. Right. Alrighty, let's see Lloyd's uh, craftsmanship in action, shall we? Genus, here. Lloyd, Persea, it's perfect! Time for the last step. Genus, Shina. Yeah, you got it. Now, let's see. Look! Well, that was... Actually, too easy to be honest. <laughs> so this is Asuka. Who calls me? Asuka, we need your power. Please form a pact with me. Pact? Where's Luna? We haven't made a pact with Luna yet, but we need you. I do not want to form a pact unless Luna is with me. So Luna don't want a pact without Asuka, and Asuka don't want a pact without Luna. We may be in some trouble here. Nah, I'm just kidding. Then let's form a pack with Luna. Then I shall go to Luna. Farewell. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Asuka. Then, until that time. I think it's a little bit too easy the way that we actually may manage to summon Asuka, but I really like how Asuka looks in this game. It's not just a normal bird. That's... Ooh, and it's light. So, I'm fine with it. Sheena, was that okay? He said he'll make a pact. There is no reason to do it right now, right? Indeed. Luna and Ask are both summon spirits of light. If Luna is performing the role as the mana link, then there is no need to attempt to force a pact with Aska here. The only thing left is to go to Luna and officially make the pact. We'll be tested by both of them at the same time. Yes, we will, and it is awesome! I guess it's unavoidable. Well, whatever will be, will be. Okay, let's go. And we get the Linkite Ocarina, even though you could easily see while Genus was actually playing, it was a panpipe. So, oops. <laughs> but before we end this up, let's take a look... Oh, wow. I was gonna say, let's take a look at Lloyd's Master Craftsmanship, and it is kinda... lame. Oh, well, to be honest, I didn't really expect anything else from Lloyd, to be honest. <laughs> but... There is one thing that I forgot to mention after we defeated uh, Shadow in the last episode. We got a Dark Seal from him, which, well, if you equip it, you will actually get 50% more experience. But it will also decrease your defense, and you will also be cursed. You will get some status effects. But uh, if you want to level fast, it's quite nice. You don't really need to do anything, just let your party members do the fighting for you. <laughs> But anyway, of course, I'm gonna end this off right here. So, next time, we are gonna go to the Tower of Mana. And we are finally gonna get the pack with the final summon spirit. Spirit of Light. Luna and Asuka, yeah. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching. And like always, let's end this off with a skit. Luna is not sad, but why? 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 Why?
アスカは世界中を飛び回っていてルナのもとへ帰ってこなかったから信頼し合ってるのかもしれないよ信頼ですかうんお互いがお互いのことを認め合っているから遠く離れていても心のどこかがつながっているんじゃないかな信頼信じること私考えてみます信頼について。